Okay, today we are actually going to do a video of an overview of all the stuff I have on TrumperFishing.com. When you first get to the website, that's what you're going to see is special deals. Welcome. Check out my new products. So that's what we're going to do right now. Well, one of the first things I want to go over is uh, these here. I'm sure if you guys watch the YouTube channel, you see them all the time. Uh, right? Oh, where's that camera? There it is. Those are the quick release fishing snaps. Um, if you watch the videos, you'll see um, how they work. Um, that's the top part you tie the line to. And then you just slide the lure on right there. And then when you need to change, you just go backwards and it pops off. So these things, the reason why I like these over swivels and that sort of thing, because they are super strong. You will never, 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 ever break one of these. Um, they last forever. Um, if you don't lose them, I have some on the boat that I've actually used for almost a year now. You get a little rust on them, but then it comes right off when you start using it again. They are really tight at first. Um, it takes a little technique uh, to get them on and off sometimes when they're new. You just basically put your jig head on there and you actually the best way to do it is hold the line and then just pull it. Hold the jig and pull on the line and that's how you get it on there. So works really great. Um, been a really good seller on the website. People like them, get a lot of reorders on them. Um, I don't know, you must be buying them as gifts or maybe losing them because I know they don't break or wear out. So one of my favorite things. This is just a little side note. If anybody has a GoPro Hero 8, I have a bunch of these. These are the screen things that go over to uh, protect the screens. Um, I got them on there for a buck. I mean, you can't get them for that on Amazon or anything like that. So just because I have them, that's why they're on there. These here, again, a must. You must have these because these are an incredible little tool again the ones you see on the videos are the same ones i've been using i've never changed it out it's the same one i've been using for a year now so comes with this little doodaddy <clears throat> actually take that off and then i use the cord attach it to my life vest that comes from these so if you want the cool cord, pick up these. These are actually great fishing pliers. We'll go over those in a sec. So what I do is I take that off. I'm not going to do that for now. And then I attach this piece on here. And then it's quick release. I just kind of loop it on there. And then you can just attach it on your life vest so you don't lose it. So you'll figure it out. But buy the pliers, get this. Don't use it on the pliers, use it on this. Here's the pliers. Nice little case, which I never use those. Oh, how do you get that off? Stretch it out a little bit. All right. Cool thing about these, they got this little, where's the camera on this thing? They got these little, uh, I don't know what's it called. It's a snap ring separator I don't know I've used it for other things too um, super thin at the tip so it's able to grab a whole small hooks and stuff like that it's got the little holes in it so you can actually put a hook in there and pull on stuff uh, I've got crimpers right there got the um, line cutter on the outside instead of on the inside so it makes it very convenient spring loaded rubber handles titanium coated supposedly can't believe everything you read but uh, that's what they say but you can see I think there's a coating on there yeah there's a coating on there so really nice pliers like them a lot that's why I bought a bunch of them so you guys can uh, buy them too and what else I got oh this is off the wall but I hate masks I don't well I'll leave my bees alone but um, I like this instead of the mask. You can breathe, you can see, all that stuff. You can shop for this on Amazon, other places. I think they want anywhere from 8 to 10 bucks. I've seen them. 
on the website, $5.99. Again, just trying to give everybody a good value. And another option instead of wearing those nasty masks. This is a quick order going out today. <clears throat> these are new to the website. So, these here are, what were they? 11 centimeters, I believe. Uh, 9.5 grams. So these are super thick and heavy. There's a lot of weight to them. Um, in the box, when I got them, I could definitely tell the box was really heavy when I got these compared to other ones. Uh, super high quality. Um, you're actually not going to find these anyplace else. Even if you look on Amazon, any place, have not seen them. I've seen ones that look like them, but I actually have those too, and they're not really comparable. These are 9.5 grams, super heavy duty, um, 4.3 inches I believe is what they were. Very high quality, very nice. Got the pink. Got light green and dark green. Got a good old standby, must have, is uh, gold, silver, black, clear. Another standby. Silver and blue, and another standby. So basically in those, I got uh, colors that you just gotta have on your boat. You just gotta have a good selection. Because you never know when that color is the right color. Um, one day white is crazy, catches all the lean cod, next day it gets nothing. The next day, it's this one. Then sometimes it's earlier in the day and sometimes it's later in the day. It changes up, that's why you need a lot of colors. So those are the heavy duty, full size ones. Love these. <clears throat> these here, brand new, tried these out. Have I haven't tried these three out, but obviously, by looking at them, those things are going to work great. They're a little bit smaller. I think these are 6 grams, something like that. And a little bit smaller, I think they're 3.9 inches. Um, probably the max you're going to use on these is uh, 2 ounce. Again, these you probably go up to 3 ounce. But 2 ounce is uh, the mainstay uh, for the jig head I use. Tried these two out on the last trip. They not only worked, but when they hit these things, they just smacked them. It was just like, because they were on the top of the water, cast it out, reeling in, and then just went wham. They hit these suckers hard. A lot harder than I've ever had a uh, lure hit before. This pink one was great for a little while. Then it died off. Then I went to this one, and it worked great. So, colors do matter. Okay, these are little ones. They're like three and a half inches. These ones here, I think would work great for, you know, if you're fishing off the jetty, that sort of thing, using a half ounce lure, one ounce. You're not gonna use anything uh, bigger than a one ounce on these. So these are kind of small, but uh, you know, you never know when those days when they're just biting the tail and you can't hook them, switch to these smaller ones. Um, they'll do trick. I did this one, did that. Was, uh, they killed them. It was great. Again, yeah, I have a few different colors. I don't know if I have them all out here, but I think I may have a couple more colors of those. Super cool. <clears throat> okay. These are kind of a different animal. They're like four, a little over four inches. Uh, medium weight, I can't remember. I think they're like six grams or something like that. I don't know, they feel kind of heavy. Got a little weight to them. This thing here was out fishing everything for a while. Um, it was just, they were, again, like the other thing, they were just smacking it. They were just hitting this thing so hard. This is a little more fragile than the other ones. It will rip and that sort of thing, but it's well worth it. The trick to this one is, when you hook it through, you got to hook it far enough back into the into it with your hook, so it pushes it onto the um, jig head and holds it on there. It is hollow, so you can actually squirt some sand in there, like you have those old uh, 
uh, things that you'd squirt uh, worms with, air or whatever, uh, or a needle, inject some uh, scent in there. These things are incredible. I should have tried it for lean cod, bounced the bottom with this a little bit longer. I bet this thing would be crazy good. Um, you got to have this for sure. Don't have a lot of them. So these are a little spendy. Sorry, but they cost me more. They're like twice as much as the other ones, but I didn't charge twice as much. And then I got this color too. So again, you can put scent in these, drop them down to the bottom. Very good. These ones, um, you can find similar ones on the internet. Again, I think I'm price less or sim really similar price. You're not going to get them cheaper anyplace else. These are lifelike. These are small. They're for one and a half ounce to one ounce jig heads. So you're not going to use the big ones. This isn't an everyday thing. This is um, when they're not biting, you try this. Uh, <clears throat> multiple colors. You, I don't know if you can really find these on the internet. I saw them on eBay for literally 12 bucks a pack. I have them for $4.89 a pack. So there's some people out there trying to rip you off, but I'm not. So there's that color there. That's a really good one. There's a green one. That's the pink. And this one's really cool. <clears throat> the gold with the black. Um, these are kind of like a, again, a two ounce. They're a little bit smaller than the, these ones here. And they're only eight gram. But still, 8 gram is still a hefty um, swim bait. So those are uh, going to be really good. I actually even tried them out, but look at that. How could that not be good? Well, I think I have more stuff to go over, but don't know what. This is where I uh, edit the videos. I use free software. Someday maybe I'll step up my game and do a little better on the editing and spending more time but I use the free software because it's actually really simple uh, it doesn't take a lot of time so I don't have a lot of time so that's why I do the quick simple way oh one last thing the old mainstay this is on the value pack this is what you're going to get if you buy the value pack is incredibly good lure um, 4.3 inches 6.8 grams I remember that one so again a medium weight or on the heavier side if you look on the internet you'll find some cheaper stuff out there but you really got to watch the grams a lot of stuff is three grams four grams this is way too light so don't waste your money um, <clears throat> I did a lot of uh, researching to find these products hours and hours and hours believe it or not sourcing uh, manufacturers trying to get stuff that I think will be uh, superior quality uh, compared to some of the stuff you can get out there. So, yes, I'm promoting the store. Am I making a lot of money? No. Um, it's just a, it's a nice hobby. So that's what I'm going to call it for now. Maybe someday it'll be a business, but I'm definitely not going to make a living off of selling fishing lures. So just subscribe to the channel, please. 70% of people aren't subscribed to watch the videos. Just hit that subscribe. Appreciate the awesome comments. And um, again, if you run into me in uh, Newport, Oregon, wandering around just like the last viewer, I'm like, hey, I got free time. Come on, go fishing. So I don't like to set arrangements. I'm not the type of guy that likes to plan a lot of stuff. I'm more like, I mean, here now, I'm going to do it. And if you're here, let's go. So, unless a whole bunch of you show up, then you're out. But, again, you guys aren't buying enough of these. This is a game changer. This is something that you'll use forever if you're going to do rock fishing. Lean cod, that sort of thing. It saves your lures by being able to control the fish, hold the fish so you're not ripping up your lure. It helps you release fish so you don't hurt them. And, uh... It's just a quick, easy way to control them. That's enough of that. Again, thanks for watching. Really appreciate all the comments again. And subscribe. Hit the damn subscribe button. A lot of people are watching the videos, but not enough subscribers. It's getting out of control.